Being a first year isn't easy. There's the relocation, the money, the classes and the cooking. Not to mention the inevitable love affairs. But one thing is for sure. Living on campus will be a culture shock for some and a never ending party for others. And often, it's your housemates who will make or break that first year. Welcome to your tour of the stereotypical block. This is the scab. They are perpetually broke and not afraid to shamelessly ask for food and money. You will lose count of how many times you catch them borrowing some milk. Shouting them a drink at happy hour will fast become a tradition, not a favour. This is the city chick. Usually a girl from the big smoke. This one you quickly find out is from Sydney. They have a mummy and daddy who are still together and a sister who is in school and a brother who works for Pixar and their uncle is a barista and their granddad is a colonel. It's at this point you zone out because you realise you'd better save brain space for your lectures. The city chick is usually moved to rural heaven because they didn't get into UCID. They're not sure if you're joking when you tell them there are two trains a day and they aren't ready to swap Louis Vuitton for RM Williams. This is the nerd. They are generally a vet student who seems to do nothing but study. Don't be afraid if you sneak a peek into their room and spot a dog femur. It was probably obtained legally. Meet the foreigner, an international student who somehow has a better command of the English language than you do. They make you feel good when you have an excuse to binge on Round the Twist because they didn't believe you could live in a lighthouse. Every morning after a night out, you're greeted by a strange accent asking, Have you ever felt like this? The night owl is often quiet moving, exhibiting skills they likely picked up from hours and hours of cod. Obviously they stay up all night, Monday to Friday is League of Legends and Dota until 6am. They miraculously manage to pass most assessments and become a hero level 25 earth spirit. Party Animal has a comprehensive alphabetical knowledge of every alcohol retailer in Wagga, from A for Ashmont Inn to Z for Zimbrero. You can walk to the beach. The Party Animal has big bite potato gems almost every night, and their room bin smells strangely like stale puke. You can tell when they've had carrot and corn. You didn't know roommate was taken until halfway through first session, when the extremely bearded male emerged to stick a fork in a toaster before returning to their cave of wonders. Ah, uh, the first year. Jaffe, this is you. Despite convincing yourself that you're totally ready to smash uni and coming into O-Week guns are blazing, there will be a couple of times in the first semester where you'll feel a little bit overwhelmed. You may even find yourself locked in your room in the middle of a Netflix binge session with two cartons of ice cream and 12 cans of coke. And if countless calls to your mother, brother, dad, sister, best friend, dog detailing your crush, your assessments and your bank account don't do the trick, you'll walk out into your common room and there will always be at least one weirdo hanging out and willing to chat. Rain, rain, go away. Your blockies will always have your back. And if they're just too plain weird... There's always your RA. I'm staring at my laptop screen scrolling through
O-Week TV. O-Week TV 2016.